Good morning. Welcome to Skate Award YouTube channel. And today in this video, I will show you how to manage more than one dynamic dialogue inside something like text. Okay, let's create some tags inside our internal tags. We have one window and for example, QA9. You ask, we try to answer, but uh, the questions is so much and we can't answer all in this kind of free video. Some of this we are giving to our subscriber on our learn.myscadaworld.com. Anyway, let's make this step by step. First tag is integer, second is binary. And now we want to provide that integer bit. So one bit from integer is set. And for example, we have a binary tag, for example, for enable this option. And we want to make this two dynamic dialogue in one uh, ex example, uh, for example, in static text. Now I put the IO field with output format binary. When I put zero at the beginning, this IO field will always show me all uh, zero and one. If I don't put zero on the first element, I will not have this leading zero. In this point, I will always have the amount of 0 and 1 I want to have. Okay, now we need to go with button. This button will be our enable and disable this function. Okay, and now we make the switch with one button. So we need to check if this tag is one. If this tag is one, we will set zero. And if we don't have one, we will put zero. Zero, one, zero, one. So we have just the button switch inside our WinCC runtime. Okay, okay, we need the one equal, yes, and okay. <coughs> On the left side, I will put the tag integer also, so you will display this in decimal number. This decimal number will be displaying for us dot IO io field only decimal not binary so we will have the same option and for example we will see that number two is zero one zero and for example four is one zero zero anyway i will test this step by step so we will see all these points Okay, some static text to know which is what before we go with our script. Sometimes we need to make some dynamic dialogue with more attributes and this video is about this. So we will put at the beginning one attribute but after all we will put two attributes and we will set up to work with our binary and our integer okay you see when i put some binary i have also the decimal okay let's make the color so we will see that our binary is set out or reset in our application we need to put dynamic dialog in single yes green and gray okay now when I run this 
window I will see the green or gray depends of binary okay as, as you see our decimal one is zero zero one zero one zero is two etc etc it's just the binary representation of our decimal number okay so let's start now with our first static text and i will show you how we can find how to go with binary how to go with in integer how to find the each bit in dynamic dialog okay so we have simple text we make the display as no okay so this static text is not on our screen is hide and we go to dynamic dialog now we go to dynamic dialog and we have some, some options option bit can help us to find the representation bit so we have the integer and after you click each bit separately you can select and see how WinCC see this bit. So we have 0x2, 0x1, 0x10, etc. So we take this 0x10 So we will take this 0x10 and we will make the dynamic dialog in different form. Okay, let's check firstly that our bit 4 is showing for us the static text. And the static text should appear okay we have this 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 is the first step we have set up correctly our static text static dynamic dialog and we can go forward with next steps okay i will put second one and this second one will be also possible with enable binary and this binary will trigger for us the visible or hide this static text so first one we have only one bit and second one will be with two dynamic dialog attributes Let's go again to dynamic dialog and now we need to select bool learn and we need to put our 0x10 to our boolean yes and now first attribute is like we see and this attribute should be more than one than one so we should know that our attributes is correct so when i put for example one it's not this fourth bit is not set but when i put the fourth bit set we should have this static text displayed when i go to attributes formula we can add another attribute and now we put the end binary and this binary is also second attribute of this full expression so now 
the integer must be set on the fourth bit and also our enable should be displayed okay first static text is running as we had before now when i put the enable i can display also the second static text okay so now we have what we wanted to have we can have more than two attributes inside our expression we can have a lot of expression but remember about the brackets in this so we, you can add a lot of this dialog attributes and make this expression very complicated okay thanks for watching subscribe to this channel and see you on friday bye